For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Walls Outdoors with me, Mike. Today I'm going to give you guys a bit of a review video on a brand new product from Dometic. So with me here I've got the Dometic Eco Auto Air awning or Redux awning. So what it basically is, is an awning designed for kind of more SUV, MPV kind of vehicles. Um, with the flexibility of almost creating this very versatile kind of uh, active on the go kind of scenario. So necessarily you don't need a camper van to go away camping. You can take your car, slab your tent which attaches to the actual vehicle itself. Uh, and that way you still get sort of internal space, a good sort of seal and still lots of flexibility. So this awning basically is, is quite unique for many reasons. One being it's a completely new design, uh, which we've not seen before. Um, it's actually also made out of kind of a uh, eco fabric. So it's their redux fabric, which basically is uh, plastic bottles, which basically then get sort of recycled back in to make material. And the way that kind of is, gets done is that a single, say 500 milliliter bottle, half a liter bottle, 10 of those will make up one square meter of the tent fabric. So really nice and easy. And it's great sort of environmental story of things that get, which necessarily would probably go into waste uh, with sort of single plastics and things like that. You can get re-upcycled and put into something that's much more usable. The material is really quite nice as well. It's got a really got a ripstop fabric built into it. So it's a nice strong fabric and obviously very waterproof as well, as well as that kind of eco story. Generally, we kind of also find that some of the eco products last a little bit longer in terms of life spanning its UV, which is certainly an additional benefit as well. We've got, uh, obviously it's very to fit different types of vehicles. So really anything from kind of your normal kind of uh, MPV or SUV kind of style down to small. So you've got a wide range of fitting heights. Uh, I think the max being around about 180. Um, so you might, it probably just about fit a normal kind of speed W style van. The only thing with that is you've got to be quite careful with the tailgate. So it's one of those things to kind of play with as you go. Some great connection methods as well to kind of adapt it to how you want to. So you've got additional clips um, located on the strap for the top, a really elasticated top to get a great seal in there and you can get a good tension on it as well. The clip can either go on to kind of, if you've got roof bars, clip it around there. Immediately I've just clipped it onto kind of the um, seat belt on the side and closed the door just to kind of bring that material to. It's all about giving a bit more sheltered area in the main body. You've then got these additional kind of rim clips that can go on here and everything's got adjustable point. There's also a really nice foam pad as well to stop it kind of damaging the vehicle in any way. And then finally we've got a pegging point to kind of sculpture it around the bottom as you can see here. There is also when you can drive it away a, 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 a physical door at the back so you can see it up and it will be a complete standalone thing. So you can almost use it as a gazebo in many respects uh, if you don't want to necessarily connect it to uh, a car or of awning. It's a single point inflation so it's very quick and easy to pitch. You can see from my own at walls sort of with a little tutorial video about pitching this. I think it took me all in about sort of 10 or 15 minutes to do, uh, including reversing the car and attaching it on. So it's really quite quick and simple, perfect going away for the shorter spells, or if you are touring around, you know, it's ideal for that. You've got storm straps located everywhere and a single pegging point will peg the base and two midpoints as well. So it makes it, uh, again, help for that kind of quick and ease and because your storm straps are a little bit stronger. Single point inflation, like I mentioned, so you've got two points you can inflate it. Uh, on this panel as we see it here, You've got one, an in point, well, sort of an exhale point, an inflate point on that side, and the same on this one here. And it uses kind of a canvas kind of or domestic kind of Boston valve system, so it's really quick and easy to do. Uh, and you get a manual pump supplied with it as well, so it's very simple. It's exactly the same on either side as you see it. So what you actually have is a door section built into it, and you can obviously enter as you please through the side door. So do side doors kind of mirror one another. So if I kind of open that up, you can sort of then roll this back, toggle this back and come into kind of the main part of the awning as well. There's also, to be said, a kind of mesh part built into all of the doors. So what enjoys that means is you get great ventilation. So you can have a good circulation inside the actual door itself. And every single panel has pretty much got mesh, certainly the side ones at least anyway. So for that airflow throughout the uh, awning itself, it's a real nice benefit. Uh, and gives you the flexibility, certainly on those warmer days. But like I said, everything about this has kind of, again, been made from sort of single-use plastic. 
we'll bring the camera sort of around a second and also into it, kind of get you more of a feel for it. But you've got a really nice kind of uh, ground sheet again, which has also got ripstop built into it. And you've got the ability to completely remove it if you wanted to or alter it so you haven't got so much of a lip. And when you come inside, you can see how well it wraps around the actual kind of awning itself. Again, where you've got a windows, you've got mesh built into it as well. So you can also choose between kind of having airflow, alternatively, privacy, and a zip up as well. So it's a really nice kind of thorough feel. Well, thing that's quite unique is actually that not only have you got sort of air tubes going atop, around the top, but you've also got them running along the base as well, uh, and also in the roof section. So it's really nearly impossible to get this thing not looking really nice and taut because it's almost, almost like a, a box. You know, the floor's span is quite nicely sort of extended with the air, and so is the roof. Um, I'll tell you what, let's bring the camera around and have a bit more of a look. So now inside the awning, you can probably appreciate a bit more of the sort of length in here and how much usual space you've got in here. I think one thing for me that probably, if anything, feels brilliant is that's the amount of headroom height in here. For such a quite a small little pitch, it does feel quite spacious. It's almost down to the shape of it. When you look at it sort of side on, it sort of leans out. It's almost further at the top outwards than it is at the bottom. So it, it, again, it kind of helps to kind of lean over the actual car and utilize the space. We've got the sort of, obviously the, um, back open of the actual car itself so it queens quite a nice sort of seating area to sort of chill out here you can always put a table and chairs in here as well like so we're talking around about sort of a 235 width by about 260 deep now things that to bear in mind as well is and we'll pick the camera up and go through a few more details in the inside of it but main sections like i said have got mesh on either side so you've got airflow coming from both panels at both ends we've got a zip down to enclose it as we want to as well the additional poles that we saw from the outside are actually included with this, so you can create that canopy as, as sort of as standard without buying any extras. The ground sheet is completely removable if you wished. Um, alternatively, what you can do is have it so it kind of it zips down or zips up. And there's no reason in many ways where you couldn't almost bring two cars reverse up to one another, roll that up immediately. It's not gonna you haven't gonna get the same kind of level of seal around it on that side, but you can almost have two cars meet and kind of chill in the back of people's vans. That sounds quite nice and sociable to be perfectly honest with you. Okay, this obviously the zips like here can be dropped down. So if you wanted to, you can lay this down completely flat. And I haven't got really a trip hazard directly into the vehicle. So you can always peg that down as well. Just keep that nice and point. Alternatively, you can zip that up and then kind of get that kind of snug feel around it. Now, as we kind of look around the actual tunnel section as well, you can see how well it fits. So tucks in round size. You've also got this kind of riser point here, which you can see often from that side, but there's almost a secondary level behind there as well, which it's sort of Valkyrie's to, to try and keep that seal really nice and snugly to the actual car or whatever vehicle you're looking at. You've also got tubes directly in the top to give that extra bracing as we talked about. And then down bottom here, we've got, again, the solid rigid structure to it. There are little points as well. It's quite quirky in a way that kind of, you've got this the middle tube sort of Valkyrie's in, uh, but you normally leave it in place and you've still got access points to the tube. So if God forbid you had any issues, you could quite easily sort of replace it to a certain degree. Other things to mention are things like the fact that you've got isolating taps. So if you had an issue once it's physically up, you can just do obviously isolate all the beams off individually. So that way if you did have an issue with one, it's isolates that one rather than the whole kind of awning itself come down. An additional bedroom is available for this model, which you can put inside. So again, if you wanted someone to sleep inside of here, having that secondary level of inner tent is going to be a bit warmer for the person inside. And also give yourself an awful lot less condensation because you're not going to have it dripping on you sort of in the morning. So that is quite key. Like I said, the bedroom is an extra, but you can normally pop it up and down as you see fit. So Archie gets out of the way. So you've just got sort of toggle points located and you've got a door on either side. So it doesn't matter kind of which way you want to kind of go in or out of the actual awning itself. Fingers and thumbs. And then you've got sort of higher toggle points located there, but I'll just kind of do a few of them just to give you a bit more of an idea about it. It's 
It's quite nice to see something a little bit different onto the market as well. So there we go. So you get happily a sort of double air bed in there quite happily, I'd say. I think the uh, it's about I think it's about 135 wide by obviously about 235 long. So it's you know double air bed should come on happily quite fit in there uh, and gives you that sort of flexibility. You've got obviously a darker material as well to hopefully give yourself a better night's sleep, and also little things like storage pockets built in to the corner so you can sort of put things like keys for the car keys and sort of books and phones quite easily at an accessible point. And then you've got doors on both the front and the back depending on how you really want to play it. If we take that bedroom down, and what we'll probably do is bring the camera in to kind of give you a bit more of a, a better feel of the actual awning itself. These are very secure, I must say. Immediately, it's quite a, a, it's probably not going to be a massive market thing. You're not going to see many of these, I think, probably on display, but it does a job for the customer who wants something to sort of fit their car and necessarily want all of the frills of ventilation. Uh, again, storage pockets built in here, uh, and the ability of flexibility in what they do with it. So, if that will kind of see the canopy itself, like I said, it's basically just a back door. You can bring it out on the poles as they're included, and it's got aluminium parts, so it's quite simple. As you come inside, fits really quite well. The height in here, like I said, is, is pretty decent, and you've got those sort of again, mesh windows, which don't really see to the eye, but, and then we've got the door obviously in place with the mesh, and the door fully rolled back, but the way it sort of seals round it, there's not a huge amount of weather that's gonna get through that. And when you want to drive away, we've got a tunnel section, which we saw earlier. We've got the little points again for kind of uh, isolating the points. A little storage pocket located beneath that window as well, which is also quite nice. It's almost like a slight slope to the awning itself as we kind of come out of it. Like I say, yeah, we've got the wheel arch covers. Not what wheel arch covers, but the wheel clamps, and then we just peg around it. You see how kind of well sort of snugly it fits against there and in the corners. You've got quite a bit of play in there, so you could take this an awful lot higher if you wanted to. So that elasticate part, along with the foam padding, works well. But I think, yeah, it's quite a nice, something a bit different. You can see, obviously, kind of see how we're looking at that sort of top panel's a bit further out in the bottom part of it. But great sort of visual preview. You've also got some storm straps which you can buy additionally. So you wanted some additional bracing points, they will be quite handy there. But overall, I quite like the uh, auto air. It's a bit, like I said, something a bit different. It sort of fits this kind of model really nicely. And when you're sort of sat uh, in the back of your car, it's quite a nice place to be. I don't, I don't know what it, what it is about it. It's whether it's kind of the fabric, the kind of, and I do like kind of the um, ripstop material in it as well. It's quite, it seems quite technical. Mm. But anyway, um, yeah, so overall, I think it's a really nice model. Something if you want more information about, you can always check the link below this video, take you straight through the website. We've got more information built on the spec of it, pack sizes, pack weights, and the other video about us pitching it as well. Um, and we've kind of also go about just showing you how you reverse your car back up to it and attach it on. So that's obviously quite crucial depending on what you want to do with it. And you've got quite a wide range of sort of sizes it will take. Um, so again, you've got a bit more flexibility in what you use it for. So but overall, I think nice model, certain things on it are quite quirky, you know, and, and the spec, the story of kind of the eco, uh, you know, in the redux fabric, I think is a really nice benefit. Uh, for quite a well situated awning to be fair. So yeah, that's a little video review on the Dometic Eco Auto Air awning in that Redux material.